But what about plasticity? Can that be enhanced? We've already seen a few methods that can help to boost plasticity. The first and most important is to use your brain and to subject it regularly to novel stimuli. Likewise, we've seen that dopamine and magnesium are good for plasticity. But what about nootropics that directly affect this in a big way? There are a couple of options out there as it happens. The first nootropic that can boost plasticity is lion's mane, and this is a nootropic that acts directly on BDNF to increase the likelihood of new connections being formed, and which increases when we're presented with novel stimuli. Lion's mane is actually a mushroom and can be enjoyed as a coffee. Again, there's not a huge amount of information available regarding the mechanisms of action or the long-term effects, but many people swear by this ingredient as a way to get a mental edge and some unparalleled cognitive boost. Another option is to try Siltep. This is a stack consisting of several different natural nootropic substances, including forscolin, artichoke extract, Icartinine and vitamin B6. The main stars of the show here are the forscolin and the artichoke extract, which together increase CAMP in the cells and thereby encourage gene transcription. Suffice to say that it's supposed to improve long term potentiation, in other words, myelination specifically, and some people find it effective without side effects, including the author Tim Ferriss. And then there's TDCS and this stands for transcranial direct current stimulation, and basically means that you're running a small current through your brain via conductive pads attached to your scalp. The idea of TDCS is not to cause your brain cells to fire, as there's not enough electricity being delivered to the brain for that. Instead, it's simply to potentiate them, to increase the amount of BDNF and to encourage plasticity. This has been demonstrated to be effective in countless studies and there are again no proven side effects. Pads are placed at different arrangements around the head which are known as montages. And these are designed to ensure that specific brain areas get the majority of the current. This then changes the effect of the TDCS. Some montages make people more alert and focused while others can boost the mood or improve sleep. What's particularly interesting is that the effects seem to last about 30 minutes following use. Just as with stronger nootropics though, it's important to exercise a little common sense here and to realise that there's no such thing as a biological free lunch. Apart from anything else, it's very hard to know precisely the area of the brain you're stimulating just by looking at a drawing of the scalp. And if you can increase learning in one area of the brain, you could theoretically accidentally cause learning in other parts of the brain that would be less desirable. So proceed with extreme caution then. But with all that said, it's definitely an interesting option, and especially when you consider that A, there is a huge amount of evidence suggesting this is a safe way to get a considerable brain boost, and B, there are many commercial products now that use this technology. The Focus headset, for example, is a product designed to boost performance in computer games and can already be purchased online. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.